Vanessa Wamboi Kuna Kovac, an advocate in Australia. Please let's appreciate her and her husband, Robert Kovac, as they come forward. Please keep clapping. Let's appreciate my father's children. Let's appreciate and encourage my father's children. Welcome. Um, I've spoken about dad a lot, um, but today this is the hardest message I'll have to give about my dad. Because how do you give a tribute to the most important person to you in two minutes? How um, do you summarize such a great man in a short span of time? How do you convey such great love to people without breaking down? How do you convey all of his teachings in, in my life in a few minutes? Um, I pray God gives me the grace to be able to do it. Um, I'd, I'd like to thank everyone for being here. Um, Auntie Mom, thank you for putting this together for Dad. He's smiling and crying simultaneously. Dad was very big on emotions. It is such an honor. Um, to the first and second lady who've been here for us, thank you so much for honoring Dad as Bishop Alan Kuna as a person and not as a figure. We, we appreciate that as a family uh, for the message we got, Bishop. Thank you for making us laugh because laughter is so important in, in times of pain. I won't be able to make you laugh, I don't think. Um, I don't have the strength to. But I, I pray for my mother more than anyone at this moment. We're hurting as his kids. But we grew up seeing the love. You saw it later. That's all we've ever seen. The love they have had for each other is not for show. It's not for you. It's for them. And to lose a love so big, I can't comprehend. But we're here, Mom. And we will carry on loving you as fiercely as he did in our capacity as your children. Um, <laughs> A, a while ago, I was sitting in the kitchen with Pastor Andrew, and he asked me, how do you as his biological children deal with so many people calling your parents mom and dad? And as we stand here, I know a lot of you are grieving for them in that same way, but I told him very easily, it was never hard to share him because dad never ever made us feel like second class. Despite his love for everyone else, it was very clear who we were as his kids. Dad would stop any meeting and with anybody at the drop of a hat if we needed him. Without question, dad was my dad. And he showed us he had enough love for us and everyone, but his love for us was ours reserved for us alone. He loved us fiercely, without judgment, without condemnation. He had a thirst for knowledge that only compared to my own. When I picked the career that I picked, he made it his mission to become, he almost became a lawyer like me, just to make sure the conversation stayed on an intellectual level. He taught me to question. He allowed me to question not only um, legally, mentally, physically, but spiritually too. He made me find a way to know God on my own, not because I was told to, but because of a father. And if God is our father, dad displayed his level of fatherhood. And if my dad is a fragment of who God is to us, then I know I have a loving God. 
It was displayed. I didn't have to learn it. And when so many people call him dad and people are like, why? He, is a, he, he, he was a father to everyone and we accept that. So thank you for um, giving us your time, your attention for everyone who came, who flew, who's from here. I thank you for honoring the man that he was. <sighs> was such a weird statement. But I'm happy that as he is now finally resting from the battle that he has gone through, he is at peace. And we know where he is, and now uh, we know we'll meet him again. And on behalf of my sister, his twin, she also loved him very fiercely. I speak for both the girls, well, only because Jeremy's gonna come and speak for himself. <laughs> um, I speak for both the girls, and I know she would have said he was a fantastic dad, a fantastic father-in-law, an even better grandfather. Um, which is so hard because he was such a great dad, we didn't think it was possible for him to get better until he got his grandkids and just watching them engage with him was such an honor. I'm so blessed that he got to meet the kids and, and be part of their lives. Um, again, I could go on and on because again, how do you sum the life of a great man in a few minutes? But I will for now. Um, dad, I, I love you. I wish you didn't go, but I know you had to. Thank you. Thank you. Let's appreciate Robert and Vanessa Kovac. Our bishop was big on family. I remember one time my bishop took me to the United States of America, and while we were about to leave the U.S. and come back home, I went to do shopping for my wife and children. And after picking things from the stores, as I was paying, I was so shocked at how much money I had spent on buying clothes and shoes. There is what they call the buyer's guilt. When I went back to where Bishop was, I told him, I can't believe I spent all this money. I wonder how much bags of cement this could have been. You know where I come from? You think, Buroti Maguta Maguta, the Itima, Buroti the Itima, the Itima, Ikuheriri Bypass, Harehata Nyiru SGR. So I'm just thinking how many burotis would have come out of this. Then he silenced me with age-old wisdom. He told me, Andrew, building is not just in brick and mortar. This shopping you bought is building. And he told me, your children will be jetting in from across the nations to visit you because of the feelings and emotions you built in them. And that is what he did for the next speaker.